I never had to work to know how to act or how to draw or how to write. These are just things that came to me. So what are those things in our lives that come easily to all of us? What are those things that you never had to work for that are things that you just do really well, that are, that are things that you can consider gifts or blessings? So I have, I have these various brushes you know, I consider them, I call them brushes, these various skills and talents that I never had to work for, but I feel like I was blessed with to be able to share my message about you going after your dream, that you're meant to live it. You know? <laughs> so my father would take a marker and he would draw veins all over his arms and he would say, the blood that runs through your veins is the same blood that ran through all the warriors that came before you. It's the blood of Zapata who fought for Tierra y Libertad. It's the blood of Pancho Villa who came. It's the blood of Cuauhtémoc. And he told me the story of Cuauhtémoc. He said, you know, when, when, when Cortes came out and he decimated all the Azteca and there was only one prince left, Cuauhtémoc, they captured him and they put him on a stake and they tied him up real tight and Cortes knew that there were other rebels hiding around. And he went up to Cuauhtémoc and he said, Cuauhtémoc, Tell me now, where are the other rebels? And Cuauhtémoc wouldn't say nothing. Tell me, Cuauhtémoc, or we're going to make these worse on you. And Cuauhtémoc said nothing, so he started lighting fire on his toes. And now the fire is creeping up the flesh, and his skin is melting off of his bone. And Cortés once again comes now. Cuauhtémoc is too much of the warrior to say anything or even squeal, show any sign. He's just holding it in, holding it in, and Cortez says, Cuauhtémoc, I give you one more last chance. Where are the rebels? Tell me now, or I make this even worse on you. And the only thing Cuauhtémoc said when Cortez was nose to nose in his grill, he looked at him and he said, I'm not exactly on a bed of roses now, am I? <laughs> Cuauhtémoc's blood runs in your veins. And Pepe, my blood runs through your veins. And he told me who he is. You know, I remind myself of that almost every day. On those days where I have to validate why I'm worthy of my dreams coming true. That the blood of all these great warriors, the same blood that ran through Cuauhtémoc's veins, through Zapata's veins, my father's veins, is the same blood that runs through my veins. My father said, Pepe, the blood that runs through your veins is very old. You are very old. And you're even older if you trace the source of the light that shines through your eyes. Because that's the light of God. And that is eternal forever. And that's who you are.